Welcome to a RCBS review. Today, today we bring you the review of a receiver from Radiolink that is the R12DS. This receiver has F12 12 channels with this radio and 10 channels with the other radios from Radiolink. On the menus you can change it between 10 and 12 channels. The receiver is compact uh, it supports SBUS or PWM that you can use together or change it individually. You can use only PWM or SBUS. The binding of the receiver with the radio is very simple because um, you only have to plug a battery on channel 3 and then you, you can see I have it already binded with the receiver but the procedure is easy you have a bind button over here that you have to do a long press until this light starts to, to blink I will do it now okay it starts to blink blink eight times and then it is binded as you can see over here it has the signal strength over here more easy it couldn't be you have this receiver as F2 antennas that you can put far one from the other and, and with an angle on your quadcopter I will show you this receiver already connected to a um, quadcopter that I have over here. As you can see, I have a quadcopter over here that it have an um, SP3 Racing F3 flight controller uh, with the firmware I have, and also already have connected over here telemetry um, module to the radio. The telemetry model that I have over here is PRM02 that is one like this one I have here as you can see and is already connected to the radio. You also can connect to this receiver a PRM01 let me see if I can focus yes I can um, this receiver only gives you the battery that you can connect to from 1S to 6S over here like a LiPo alarm otherwise the, um, the PRM02 you can have telemetry with MavLink protocol like um, you can have in Pixoc or APM. Um, that is only not only the, the um, flight controllers that you can connect to this model, because I have connected it to the, um, the SP3 Racing, SP Racing F3, and um, I will show you how I have connected it. I will plug on the battery with this receiver that is already connected to my flight controller as you can see how it works as you can see um, the receiver is already connected and has a blue light indicating that I am using SPAS protocol on the radio we will see that I have telemetry signals like battery you can see and also GPS and the coordinates also and the orientation of the quad also a speed and rise and the altitude distance from home everything that you that I am receiving from the radio link PRM02 the PRM02 model have to be connected to the flight controller with a fixed baud rate because we can change it um, over the, the module um, it is prepared to connect it with 56k to the flight controller you can change both rate of the other ports I tried to connect it with a soft serial port where I am 
I have connected to the GPS module that is from Radio Link is SE100 um, that is on soft serial to um, IO2 port pin 5 and 6 um, and this one is connected, the, the telemetry model is connected over Watt 03 that uh, supports the old board rates because soft serial it don't, on, only allows you to connect the, connect um, serials until 19.2 kilobytes per second. As you can see, when I change my quad, the orientation also changes on the radio. It's already connected to the quad. And on INAP software, I can show you that the receiver is working properly. As you can see, I'm using all, all channels, also the sliders on the side, switch. I also have the flight modes configured with two switches that you can see that I'm changing in F6 positions to, um, to control flight modes. I will put this quad outside so you can see its, its GPS signal. Um, appearing on this on the telemetry of the radio as you can see already catching six GPS satellites this GPS is also very good that we will do a review video later on on this channel don't forget to subscribe and follow up our videos to see that review as you can see I already have the latitude, longitude, altitude it don't have because I didn't uh, uh, rise the quad and um, the satellite is increasing you already have 8 satellites right now so as you can see this telemetry model PRM02 also works with other flight controllers that support Mavlink protocol the Mavlink protocol is mostly used on APM and Pixwalk but on INAV you can also use it like I'm using over here as you can see fully functional with all the um, the data being transmitted to the radio you can see if I change my flight modes you also can see over here that they are changing correctly configure on flight controller so they can use so it's this information is very useful that you always know what flight mode you have selected with this model you can connect to the flight controller using SPAS protocol serial protocol and also you can use um, the PWM outputs that you have available over there on this code I also had um, action cam that I can change with a three position switches from the mode standby picture standby and recording mode this signal is controlled by the receiver with a PWM output also that I have connected over here as you can see and uh, this is the serial protocol connection and you have if you not use all the, the channels the available, ch available channels you can use as PWM to control outside of flight controller signals now I will disconnect from the radio as you can see I am I have over here the voltage of my battery I will disconnect PRM02 and um, connect PRM01 to, to the receiver so you can see that I also can receive the battery if I connect the battery balance lead like this one this is a 3S battery as you can see I already have 
again the battery of my the voltage of my battery sorry so it can work with the fully with the PRM01 or the PRM02 you also can connect it, it twice the both modules to the, fl to the flight controller as you will see you have redun redundancy of the the voltage and you will have, you will have to as you can see orientation of the quad is changing so I have the both modules PRM01 and PRM02 connected to my flight to my receiver sorry so this connection you can connect both on, on the receiver so this modules telemetry models and this receiver is very powerful and um, the information that uh, it showed on the display of the radio is very very useful I'm liking very much this radio I'm well surprised with the radio because uh, the first impressions was that it feels a little bit plastic that is uh, true but the functionalities of this radio are very 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 useful and this telemetry function is very powerful that you can use with PIXOC, APM and also with a flight controller with INF that I have over here I only will show you as I have configured my ports on my INAV software um, that GPS is connected on soft serial 2 and serial receiver is on WART 2 that is over here as you can see uh, it's connected be the SFS signal and the MAV link is connected on WART 3 that with the board rate of 57.6 kbits per, sec per second please subscribe our channel um, we will bring you more videos with another receivers and also the GPS model that we want to review um, please give us a big like and subscribe our channel until next time